हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ एल टी आई सिस्टम हियर लेट अस कंसिडर द इंटरकनेक्शन ऑफ एल टी आई सिस्टम विच इज शोन इन दिस फिगर द इम्पल्स रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ ईच ऑफ द सिस्टम इज गिवन हियर दे हैव गिवन हेच वन ऑफ एन हेच टू ऑफ एन हेच थ्री ऑफ एन एंड हेच फोर ऑफ एन we need to find overall impulse response let us consider the system that is given in this system these two impulse responses are in parallel so we can write h1 of n plus h2 of n so here since plus sign is given so we will write h1 of n plus h2 of n if there is minus sign we would have written h1 of n minus h2 of n now these two impulse responses are in cascade form now so that's why we can write h1 of n plus h2 of n so that will be convoluted with h3 of n now these two systems are in parallel with plus sign therefore the overall impulse response we can write it as h of n is equal to h1 of n plus h2 of n convoluted with h3 of n plus h4 of n we have the value for h1 of n h2 of n h3 of n and h4 of n we can substitute these values in this equation we will get h of n is equal to we can substitute for h1 of n which is u of n plus h2 of n which is u of n plus 2 minus u of n then it is convoluted with h3 of n which is delta of n minus 2 plus h4 of n which is alpha to the power of n u of n we can cancel out these two terms therefore we can write h of n is equal to u of n plus 2 convoluted with delta of n minus 2 plus alpha to the power of n u of n so we can write h of n is equal to so this term we can write it as u of n plus 2 minus 2 plus alpha to the power of n u of n we can cancel out these two term again so finally we can write h of n is equal to u of n plus alpha to the power of n u of n so this is the overall impulse response of the given system now let us consider the next problem where we need to find the overall impulse response of the system shown below here the system is given for this system we need to find the overall impulse response in the given system these two impulse responses are in cascade form so that's why we can write the impulse response as h1 of t convoluted with h2 of t now these two impulse responses are in parallel with plus sign so we can write the impulse response as h2 of t plus h3 of t now these two impulse responses are in parallel form with negative sign so we can write impulse response for the system as h of t is equal to h1 of t convoluted with h2 of t minus h2 of t plus h3 of t now this system is in cascade with this impulse response so we can write this system is convoluted with h5 of t so this is the overall impulse response of the given system now let us consider another system where we need to find the overall impulse response 
So, if we consider this part of the system, it is in parallel form. So, we can write in place of 1, we can write delta of t. So, we are having negative sign, we can write minus, then we can write h1 of t, then we are having plus sign, we can write plus h2 of t. Now, these three systems are in cascade form, therefore, the overall impulse response, we can write it as h of t is equal to delta of t minus h1 of t plus h2 of t. So, convoluted with h3 of t, convoluted with h4 of t. So, this is the overall impulse response of the given system. So, this is the problem on representation of LTI systems to find the impulse response of the system. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.